Welcome to the Produce Picker Podcast. I'm your host, Ray, the Produce Picker. And on today's episode, we're doing product demos. You're watching episode 11 of the Produce Picker Podcast. I'm your host, Ray, the Produce Picker. And on this episode, the OXO Apple Divider. All right, a few weeks back, I contacted a company called OXO, spelled O-X-O. Some people might actually say O-X-O, but it's actually pronounced OXO. They're a company that makes tools to make life easier. In our case, it's gonna be kitchen tools. I contacted them because I like their products. I use their products on a daily basis at work uh, and at home, and I really like the quality, the durability, and so I contacted them, let them know about my show, and they were kind enough to send me a few different products, which I'm gonna be demoing on the show for everyone to see how they work, and uh, well, let's get right into it. All right, I've taken it out of the package. Um, it's nice and lightweight. Uh, it's dishwasher safe. It has these nice rubberized grips on both sides, so it's real easy to use. Um, nice to hold on to, doesn't slip when you're actually doing the uh, cutting because it takes a little bit of pressure to do the cutting. Um, like I said, they were kind enough to send these for free so that I could do some product demos and reviews. And uh, over the next few episodes, I'm gonna be showing you guys exactly how these work. So. Let's find out uh, here how the Apple divider works. Uh, what I have here is your standard Fuji Apple. Uh, when picking out apples, uh, if you remember episode one of the Produce Picker podcast, if you haven't seen it, go back and check it out. Uh, you wanna make sure that the skin doesn't wrinkle when you run your thumb across it. Uh, you wanna make sure it's a nice heavy feel. And uh, I, you know, I like the stem to still be attached and make sure there's no blemishes on the apple. And uh, overall, just a good looking apple. Like I said, nice and heavy, and you'll get a, a real good tasting apple. Uh, so the OXO apple divider here, uh, it also not only divides the apple into slices, but it removes the core as well. So what we'll do here is you take your apple and you place it on your cutting board or whatever surface you're working on. Uh, you place the core of the apple right, line it up in the middle with the uh, circle there, the core section. Now be careful, these blades are sharp on the bottom, so you don't want to go and touch the bottom section. Um, if you're gonna later on push the slices through, you'll want to just go ahead and push them through the top here. So let's take a look at how this works. Like I said, line it up with the apple core section and just give it a nice, real steady push. Yeah, I think about just shook the house down with that one, but uh, you'll see that you can just push the slices through nice and easy, and this side isn't sharp, uh, making a little bit of mess. The core comes out real simple, and that's really convenient because, I mean, cutting that up, you might waste a lot more apple than this does, and uh, this gets you the most yield of fruit possible, so, you know, it saves you a little bit of money as well. So you just simply take these slices out and you have nice slices. You can pack them up for your kid's lunch or maybe a little snack for yourself. And um, Fuji Apple tastes real good. Now, if you want to pick up one of these OXO uh, Apple dividers or any other products we're going to be showing here on the Produce Picker podcast, uh, go to producepicker.com and check on the featured products link and you can find a spot where I will make these available for purchase. Um, this one here, the stainless steel version is uh, about $11.99 depending on where you buy it. It's also made in a plastic version, which I actually have at home. Um, I didn't know about the stainless steel version until they sent it to me. These are very nice. I have the plastic one, like I said, it works very well too. Uh, dishwasher safe. And uh, that one is about uh, eight to ten dollars, eight ninety nine. I think it retails on the site. So, go to producepicker.com, check out the featured product section, and pick one up for yourself. I think they're great. Now, as a little promotion for producepicker.com, and uh, since I have one of these at home, I wanted to give one of these away. Um, I'm uh, trying to figure out how the best to do that. I think if uh, maybe since it's an Apple divider uh, and also does pairs, we'll go with Apple. Maybe just tell me what your favorite Apple is. Send an email to ray at producepicker.com. Tell me what your favorite Apple is and I'll draw a name randomly and we'll send this out to you. So be the lucky winner of the one used right here today. Have a good day. You've been watching another episode of the Produce Picker podcast. Remember to check out producepicker.com for many more great tips.